On this week's episode of Top Rope Talk, Danny, what are we talking about? CM Punk breaks up with Paul Heyman. <laughs> and nips. Mark Henry trolls the WWE Universe. <laughs> and nips. And you get some special news on our special Week 10 episode. Oh man, and nips. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to a new episode of Double Axe Handles Top Rope Talk. Raw was amazing. Yes. We're going to introduce ourselves. We no. said oh, to do that. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I forgot. So. Well, just say your, say your name now. No, man. It feels weird. Uh, let's do a reverse. Oh, yeah. Change it up. Or should I say you and you say me? I, I was just so excited for Raw. Yeah, you do you, then I do me. Or I'll do you and you do me. Chris. Okay. What oh, is your son, name? Do you know my name? King Kong Chris. <laughs> King Kong Chris. <laughs> Danny Cutthroat is this handsome man's name right here. And uh, guys, as always, welcome back to the show. This is our CD, our Hard Rock CD. Go to iTunes, rate it, and buy it. Support it. Good old, good old stuff. Um, 2xhandle.com. At 2xhandle, Twitter. Follow us. Do all that cool stuff. This is week number nine for us. Week number nine. Number nine. See what I'm doing here? What's the next number? <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Yeah. What's the next number? Oh, week number ten. That's it. Hmm. What should we do for week number ten? Something. We should do something, right? We Not. Should. I mean, we always do this. I mean, there's always going to be this, but we should do something special for double digits. Our first double digit. That's right. I mean, there's really no... After double, there's triple. Yeah, but that's so long. That's, that's like two years. Very good. <laughs> so for week number 10, next week's episode of Top Row Talk, we're going to give you guys something awesome, something special, something powerful. That's a little hint right there. It's a lot of hint. <laughs> well, they don't know it's coming. You don't know. I'm just giving them a hint that. I'm going to shave my beard. No, don't shave your beard. I'm just kidding. Oh, my God. I would scared. never. You're generally scared. I'm sorry. So. That's for episode 200. 100. Ooh. Uh, so I... yeah. Look out for that, guys. It's going to be awesome. We'll remind you throughout the course of the week. Um, and with that being said, we yes. want to be more... Interactive. Yes. We want to be more interactive with you guys. With more you guys, because you know why? We love you guys. Don't you love them? Tell them you love them. I love them. you guys. We love them. And I love you. So with that being said, something crazy happened on Raw. A little bit of something. And we <laughs> <laughs> or allegedly a little bit of something. Allegedly. So obviously there may have been Do it. Just say it. Just a little no, a little Caitlin Nips list. But when you think of nips, <laughs> I think of Ryback. I think of Ryback nip. Exactly. A little so nip nips. We want we want to talk to you guys, see how you guys feel. Mm -hmm. Which nip do you prefer? If you had to pick a nip. <laughs> Which nip slip? This is so weird to talk about. Caitlin or Ryback? The poll will be on our website. You'll have the link down on our YouTube. It'll be everywhere. Um, make sure you vote. And we can see which nip. Vote on the nip that you think is the better nip. The better nip slip. Not the better nip. That's a, that's a totally different question. So yeah, so go to our website. Go to, go to our YouTube link and everything. And click... On the and nip. Vote. Click on the nip. <laughs> Click on the nip. We can do this all day. You may do this all day. <laughs> Click on the nip. All right. All right. Let's talk about Raw because Raw was amazing. All right. Much in, uh, I guess we've been saying this for a few weeks or months, whatever. You called it last week. I called it. Because um, last week's Raw was lackluster. <clears throat> and this Raw was great. Why? Post pay per view. That's it. They feel like, I feel like, we feel like, they yeah. save all the awesome stuff for the post-draws, the post-pay-per-views. Yeah. I made that same mistake last week. That's all right. But I guess you could, I guess they could say that because, you know, this is when the new feud starts, you know, like all the new feud starts for everybody. So I guess but, forever. But, like, now more so than ever, the, the Raws after pay-per-views have been really good. And all the other Raws has been, like, Yeah, cool. but if you, if you can't build up a strong feud up until that last week... Yeah. There's a problem with the pay per view, right? It's like every hour on this Raw last night was just really good. Like, I, I couldn't take my eyes away. It was really good. Um, started off with Del Rio coming out. Yes. And basically telling everybody, hey, I'm a heel now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm bad now. 
Except the fact that I beat Dolph Ziggler yesterday. Yep. He even makes a Man of Steel reference. He's like, everyone's talking about the Man of Steel. I am the Man of Steel, he says. In Spanish. Well, not in Spanish. In Spanish Whatever. accent. Yeah, and he was like, Jack Swagger is a is a pig. That's it. Dol Dolph Ziggler is a coward. Yep. So America's full of pigs and cowards. <laughs> That's it. So that was like full on heel. So he talks smack and crowd's booing. <sighs> He's got the belt around his waist because he... Oh, we didn't even talk about... The... Oh, our predictions. Guys, this is the best I've ever done. You too, man. Well, one, that one we, no one would have ever called That's because true. that was stupid. We, okay, on, on Payback, we made our predictions on the last Top Rope Talk. I was, I had them all right except one, yes. which was the Dolph Ziggler versus Del Rio. I was going to say Dolph Ziggler was going to win. He lost. Yes. You said the same thing as well, but you said but Caitlin, Caitlin was going to win. Yes. Obviously, you're wrong. Sorry. Thanks. It's all right. It's alright, it's happened. Still fresh. We all the wound is still sore. <laughs> so I was really proud. I was like, holy crap, this is the best I've ever done. So we almost had cake on the show. Almost. There's almost cake. When we get that hug on pay-per-view, we're going to have month. a cake. And we should do a poll for the cake. Alright. I don't know how we do that. But anyway, anyway, back to the show. D uh, Del, Del Rio, new champ. Got yep. the gold around him. I always send the gold to him, but he's getting booed. He's getting booed. And I was actually very disappointed when Dolph Ziggler lost last night. Uh, very. I, I came back. Guess who comes out? Who? G take a guess, man. I told you, take a guess. Stone Cold. Ooh, close. Punk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Punk comes out. Crowd goes bananas. Wah! And they basically start smoke talking smack. Paul Heyman. They start smoking. They start smoking. <laughs> they start smoking crack. Um, Paul Heyman tries to like interrupt. But Punk's like, hey, I got this, man. I got this. And Paul's like, oh, okay. And they continue talking smack. Smack continues some more. Vicky comes out. Vicky's all like, guys, I got a great idea. Tonight's main event, Del Rio versus Punk. Woo! Yeah. Nice. So later on, Paul Heyman and CM Punk are talking in the back. They're like, look, I never wanted to be your client. You're my friend. Let's Punk's just be Punk's friends. Saying. Exactly. So they're basically determined, all right, fine. Let me make myself clear. We're gonna be friends. Later on in the night, Paul Heyman actually said he's like, I think it was an interview with uh, Striker. He was like, I am the best friend of the best in the world. <laughs> oh, that was really cool. Paul Heyman is just awesome. I'm gonna miss. I mean, I'm sure their chemistry. They'll, they'll they're, do something. they're not gone, but chemi chemistry between Punk and Heyman was awesome. Yes, it is something to be seen every single week. Um, so basically, I guess after that, where we go, we're going right to the match. Yes. The match, it's a good match. It was, it was uh, back and forth. 15 minute match. It was pretty good. Um, so at the end, Del Rio is about to chicken out. So he, he ends up winning by, or no, CM Punk gets to win by the count out. Yes. Del Rio is just like, Half I'm backing off. I don't need to do this. That's it. Goes half up the ramp, goes to the 10 count, and Dolph Ziggler just attacks him. Jumps right off the ramp, just attacking him. Attack. It was great. Crowd loses their mind. Huge pop. Everybody's losing their mind. Um, as well as we were. Yes. Um, so, you know, they're fighting them off, whatever, they get out. Then, Rap, they, then they, like they go back to the ring, CM Punk, Punk who's Woo! pretty much a face now, I think. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty much a good guy. Yeah. So, he's like, okay, who's noise? Who's noise? Who's noise? Who's noise? Who's music Did we hits? start to hear? <laughs> Brock Lesnar. Brock? Brock. Everybody. Lesnar. Everyone's going crazy. Even we're like, uh-oh. Like, just got real. That's Cray. <laughs> so, Brock Lesnar walks up. He's like, grabs the mic. I was like, oh, he has something to say. He's like, oh, he has, I haven't heard him talking in like a year. He's about to go up there. Like. And he's like, F5. F5. Big oh, Mug drops him. It was great to see. Curtains. It, it was, awesome. was incredible. That's going to be some. I don't know if they'll do. I mean, chemistry. I doubt they'll do Money in the Bank. It'd be nice to see. I mean, SummerSlam. Because Money do. in the Bank, you have RVD coming back. Yeah. They'll probably do Money in the Bank and have another match next week. Well, you know, the best of three? Yeah, or best of two. That You can't have a best of two. <laughs> uh, and then that's actually the end of the show. Yeah, that was Curtis. just that whole story. Yeah, that was that whole story put together for you guys. One big highlight. The next highlight is probably the best highlight of the night. It was phenomenal. Emotions everywhere. They were running high. Yes. So, John Cena came out, right? John yeah. Cena comes out. And he basically tells the world that he's ready for anything. He's like, guys, anything comes my way, and Money in the Bank, I'm taking it down. Whoever wins Money in the Bank, and they want to 
get the briefcase open on me, whatever, I'm gonna win this. I, it's, and he's like, unlike the last two times that happened to him, <laughs> and he lost. Uh, he basically says, the people who are against me, that's fine. The people who are with me, I do it for you. The champ is here. Yes. And we're all like, it felt. I mean, damn, we felt all warm and fuzzy inside. It was nice. Whatever. The champ is here. Mark Henry comes out, and rumors have been spreading wildfire that he was gonna retire tonight. That he was gonna give his retirement speech. I don't know about Danielson here, but I had like this. No, he ain't retiring. Come on now. Well, I didn't think he was retiring until everyone they actually started promoting, and I was like, yeah. crap, I think he's gonna retire. And then there was this, this funny moment where he's backstage hugging um, Titus Young, uh, Titus Young, Ty Titus O'Neil, Darren Young, and um, Tamina. Tamina. And he hugs, he hugs Titus O'Neil, and he gets up, and he sees Darren Young, he's legitly crying. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> it's really funny. Um, so Mark Kennedy's walking into the ring, he has, he has his wrestling boots in his hand, Mark Kennedy's dressed to the nines, and he gets into the ring, and he tells Cena, he's like, Cena, calm down. Uh, I'm not your enemy tonight. Yeah. They shake hands, and he goes, I just want to let everybody know that, you know, I've always loved. It up. So, uh, he's basically saying, like, guys, I've always been there for you guys. Thank you so much. I mean, I love you guys. And he's basically telling everybody, like, he's like, I've, I've had this time, I've had that time. And he's, been, he's literally giving his retirement speech right now. Touching. As emotions, like, he starts to cry. Like his Hard. eyes get super red, and he's crying. Cena starts to cry. Cena starts tearing up. Cena gives him the belt. He's like, "Here, man." And and and, Mark, and as soon as he grabs the belt, he just tears from him. He's like, <sighs> like that. And, and, and it's actually very beautiful. And the, the entire time, I was like, "Nah, he ain't retiring." And the more I said it, the more I was like, "No, nah, he's not retiring." <laughs> I was just like, "This is amazing to watch." And, great. Like, and I remember I was like, "This is wrestling right here." Like, yes. This is where it's at. Like this man is giving all he got right now. Even if he is faking, or even if he is being honest right now. Like well, as he was walking to the ring, we're also like, all right, let's remember, he's an actor. Like <laughs> he may get us, but uh, yeah. all, basically to this point, we're like, he's retiring. Yeah. He's that's it. Nope, he's not getting us. He's retiring. Yep. Uh, so finally, he basically he goes, guys, he, he goes like, to my wife. I'll see, you're gonna see a lot more of me. To my boy, who's an avid wrestling fan, I love you. To my to my beautiful daughter who always cries when I leave. When he said that, I was like, yeah, this, this guy's retired. Is it? He's, he's done. And we're, we're done with Mark Henry. He's done. And he's crying. John Cena comes into the ring. He's like, come on, man, come on, man. He goes like this, like this. And it's a beautiful moment. The crowd's like, thank you, Henry. Right? And everybody's, it's, it's a beautiful moment. Twitter was all like, oh my god, I'm crying, oh my god, I'm crying. Cena so goes like this, goes for the hug. World's strongest slam. World's strongest slam. I I we I threw my out. fist into the air. <laughs> I was like, yeah! <laughs> uh, and he did it. And then when he's when, he, when it when it's done, the crowd's just like, they're like happy and shocked at the same time. They start they start chanting Henry. Mark Henry starts yelling. He's, he's like, he's he's like, he, he goes, there's still I still got gas in the tank. I was like, yeah. And then he gets up to the ramp. What does he shout? That's what I do. That's what I do with the jacket around his shoulder. He's like. That's what I do. The first thing I thought though, I'm like, he just lied to his daughter. His daughter was like, Daddy's coming home. <laughs> and then she just started bawling even more. He's not. Unbelievable. <laughs> it was such a great moment for one, Mark It was Henry. one of the best. Uh, for Cena too. For him. Throw him in there too. It was, he got us all. He, he trolled us. He yeah. really did. He did. Basically, uh, then Mark Henry goes in the back, goes and interview with a friend, Renee Russo. Yes. Who I thought was going to get I thought she was going to get a World Source then as well. Um, <laughs> and he's just like, I can do whatever I want. You guys are like puppets. She was like, you're puppets, right? And she didn't answer. He was like, you don't have to answer that. Obviously, she wasn't going to. Yeah. But yeah, we were all puppets. We, we were all, of us. all wrapped around this finger. So he was like, I'm not retiring. He's like, I'm challenging John Cena for Money in the Bank. Because that is the only title I have never held. So obviously he wants to, to hold the gold for real. I really want him to win. I would love for him to win. Don't know if he will. I don't think he will. I don't think he will. But, I would uh, love for him to win. It'd be nice. He'd probably win, and if everyone's winning the bank that night, catch him. <laughs> Daniel Bryan. <laughs> awesome. um, but yeah, Raw was super good. Uh, it was r really well done. It was so good. There was also this little... Side story with the McMahons. It looks like all the McMahons are going to be fighting each other. Yeah, <laughs> they're just all, they're just. Triple H is like, you listen to me, to Vicky. And Vicky's like, okay. And Vince McMahon's like, no, 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 you listen to me. And, uh, is that your Batman voice? Yeah, and Vince McMahon voice. And Stephanie McMahon's like, 
No, they can't be listening to me. Is that your Batman voice? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was, anyway, but Raw was really good. It just makes me, it makes me excited for next week's. Um, put on the stuff. Hopefully to see more Ziggler next week. Oh, yeah. And it has to see why he wasn't really on this week. Yeah. Well, yeah. he was, you was sad, man. I mean, I was sad. Would you be wanted. sad if you lost your belt? I'm sad he lost his belt. I was sad as well. So, guys, with that, the show's over. Um, we're going to tune in next week to next week's Raw and everything. Please talk to us throughout the week. If you have any questions, hashtag TRT. Or uh, talk to us any other time. We want to have it talked back to you. Great. And buy our album on iTunes, please. Next week is, don't forget, week 10. It's going to be awesome. We ten go. guys, special the surprise. The little special thingy. You're gonna want to tune in for that. Hint: I'm not shaving my beard. Yeah, but it. I mean, the beard is beautiful. It's gorgeous. Look at that thing. Just yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I want you just turn. Speaking of beards, the Wyatt family. Oh yeah. When are they gonna come out? When they back? No, I want them to come on now. No man. I I I can watch that promo every day. It doesn't matter. That's true. I make everybody stop talking when it's on TV. <laughs> you really did. Today he was like, shh. It's so oh. good. Anyway, so guys, with that, much love towards you. Uh, we'll see you next week. Say bye, Danny. Bye, Danny.